Chinese steam bun, otherwise known as sao bao. Let's take a quick look at the recipe and we'll get started. Today's recipe stars the always healthy, always ready reggae jam and rotisserie chicken, wrapped up with additional flavoring from our authentic Chinese Li Kum Ki sauces. We've got our birds straight out of the oven at the supermarket, so let's get cooking. The first thing I'm going to do is get together the filling for our buns. I have some scallions here. I'm going to go ahead and chop them up and chop them into pretty small pieces and then place them into a large mixing bowl. I'm using my rotisserie chicken because it's already cooked. It's easy, great way to use leftovers. They're economical and they taste great. I'm using the oriental flavor today, just because I'm using an oriental dish, I thought that would be kind of fun to use it. But you can use your barbecue, spicy, whatever you like because we're using our Lee Kum Ki sauces that will season everything really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and place this into my bowl. And I'm a little bit of a messy cook today. And I have some ginger. I'm going to go ahead, grate my ginger right into. Don't need a lot of ginger. Ginger is one of those spices that really are very flavorful, very potent. And I have some garlic here that I'm going to crush, just one or two cloves. I think one clove actually should be more than sufficient. Ooh, I love using my garlic press because it releases all of the oils from the garlic, which is really nice. When you want fast food without compromising nutrition, reggae jam and rotisserie chicken is always ready and so versatile. It's one of the convenient meal solutions offered from the Jamaica Brothers Group. And I have my reggae jam and rotisserie chicken that has just been picked off of the bone. I have some hoisin sauce, my Lee Kum Ki hoisin sauce. Great flavor. This is just mashed soya bean paste and other spices. Love hoisin sauce. It gives it a great flavor. As I said, it's also great for dipping. Don't need a lot. I'm going to use two tablespoons of this here. One. Oop. I'm only going to put half because a little got away from me. And I'm going to use one teaspoon of sesame oil. This just gives it a very nice flavor. I'm also going to use some oyster sauce here. Two teaspoons, uh, or two, sorry, tablespoons of my oyster sauce. Great flavor, I'm so excited to try this. And this here is a char siu sauce. This will give it a really, this is something that they use a lot in Chinese dishes for roasted chicken and roasted meats and it gives it such a great flavor. I'm going to use one teaspoon of this, so I'm going to use two of these half teaspoons here. One, it's a little syrupy, two. I'm going to go ahead and stir this up. Place it to the side, and this is the filling for our steam bun. I'm just going to show you quickly how I make up my steam buns. I have some cabbage here. I have a steamer insert. I'm just going to lay the cabbage right along the bottom. This it will hold the buns in place right along the bottom here. I would say probably about four nice big pieces. Actually, I probably don't even need the four because this is lined up pretty nicely. And I have here, these are the refrigerated crescent rolls that they come in the tubes and then you just kind of pierce it and they pop open. This is going to be the dough that my Chinese bun goes in. So let me go ahead and open it out. Oh, before I do this, let's bring up our pot of water and start the boiling so that we can steam them. It won't take too long. Gonna open this up. And I have two, two crescents here, because there were crescent rolls. I'm gonna place it down. Just gonna put a little bit of my chicken mixture right in the center. Not too much. Fill it up as much as you like. And then I'm just gonna kind of pinch 
right around, leaving a little bit open at the top. Pinch it right around. A little bit open. Doesn't that look cute? It's like a little package, a little purse. Place it directly on this to be steamed. And let me continue with the other ones. This kind of gets hard to unroll when it's been out for a little while. So I suggest that you open them out right before you're going to use them. Gonna open it out. Put a little bit more in. And I've made just enough to do four of my buns today. Just gonna put it together. Now these here are great because very few ingredients and everybody loves Chinese food. Look at that. And then of course with the Olympics coming up, all eyes are on China right now. So this can be in preparation. You guys can make this when you guys are watching our Jamaican athletes in their track and field winning in Beijing. Here we go. Oh, these are looking good. Just pinch it up at the side. And my water is really taking long to boil, but you know what they say, a watch pot never boils. Let me make sure it's on high. It is. There we go. Now the last thing I'm going to do before I go ahead and put it into my steaming water is I'm going to take a little bit of my sesame oil and then I'm just going to drizzle ever so slightly right along the top. Mmm, tastes good. Now, I'm going to very carefully place this into my pot. I'm going to cover it. Come back in about eight minutes and our best dress rotisserie with Lee Kum Kee sauces steamed buns will be finished. Here's our savory Asian treasures, a Vibes Cuisine easy twist on steamed chicken buns. Visit myspace.com slash Vibes Cuisine to cook along with the show. Here's one last look at our recipe. For details, email us at recipes at vibescuisine.com or visit www.jamaicabrothersgroup.com. Housewares for Vibes Cuisine courtesy of Asmart. Chances are if you need it, Asmart has it. Wardrobe provided by Carrie, Man Woman Home. Fitness by Jim Kana. Thanks to all our associate sponsors. Vibes Cuisine was brought to you by The Best Dressed Chicken, one of the fine products from the Jamaica Brothers Group, and Lee Kum Kee, leader of authentic Chinese sauces.